hello, hello, everybody. I know you're probably thinking, what the... Bleh? <laughs> okay, I did not expect to start the video that way, but I'm just saying that's freaking hilarious. Um, so, different view only because I am going to be doing some juicing. This is stuff that I love. I haven't actually bought stuff for juicing <laughs> recently, and you guys, it's so crazy because my body hates me when I do not juice. Like, it literally is like I can feel a difference in my mood, my energy, my friggin everything hold on oh i need to stretch Ooh, ah. what you guys don't stretch that way that was a good one oh, i feel so good <laughs> um so anyways yeah my body totally hates me when i don't juice and also i have digestive issues so my i get like I don't know, my stomach hurts so bad when I don't. And that's why probably when I was making painting videos, I was like, oh, my stomach hurts. And it's because I have not been drinking or eating whole foods. And then it just like, my system just goes all crazy. So I don't know why, honestly, how I haven't gone in. I don't know. I've been kind of a hermit lately. I don't know. I'm in some kind of funk right now. So I was like, I need to make a video because it's just another part that you could see without like me totally disappearing for another freaking 10 weeks <laughs> like i have a lot of ginger i love ginger you guys i love ginger so much, which is weird because i never used to or maybe it's because my mom never bought it so i never really knew if i liked it or not that's a possibility so, so i actually ju will juice the ginger separately and put it in this bottle because i just don't like plain water but i have to tell you this story before i begin um i went to when i went to monster palooza my friend Lisa, we went to Whole Foods because normally we get uh, snacks and stuff and we put it under the table because those shows are extremely busy and there's no time to leave. We go to Whole Foods and I see this like ginger, it said ginger, uh, what was it? And for some reason, I'm better at painting and talking that I am at doing other things and talking. And I, I don't understand the connection there. But anyway, so we, go, and I think it was like tumic or something. What the heck is it called? I'm pretty sure it's called a tu tumic. Tumic, tumic, I don't know. Maybe that's a shirt. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so anyways, I was like, oh, I need that, you know, just so I can get a shot of ginger because it does settle my stomach. Oops. And excuse my my knife, excuse my knife in the in the photo. Children, don't try this at home. So, anyways, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get that, and like, so it settles my stomach. So it's like sweet. So we get it, and it's like this little bottle. So I'm like, oh yeah, that's perfect. Friggin, we go to the show, and it's it's like almost starting. Look <laughs> at me with my knife, just waving it around. Oh yeah, and I took my ring off, by the way, because I was painting with acrylics on a canvas, and uh, I got paint on it, and yeah, it was really sad. So now it has to be, like, cleaned. Anyways, let me get back to my story. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to do a shot of ginger right now, because it, like, helps me settle my stomach, and it's early, and blah, blah, blah. So I go to drink it, and, like, I literally just go, like that. What I didn't know is that it wasn't like a shot of ginger where it's mixed with something. It's actually like pure ginger and turmeric. And it was so hot, you guys. I was dying. I was like, <clears throat> and my face was like bright red. <laughs> and Lisa's like dying laughing beside me. She's like, in your face. And I'm like, <clears throat> it burned all the way down i had to sit under the table i just sit under the table because my mouth was burning my eyes were watering and i was like no. like it hurt so bad oh my gosh you guys oh. <laughs> stay away from the shot the shot of ginger it's my point 
because it's supposed to be mixed with something. You're not supposed to just swallow it. <laughs> Learned my lesson. Yeah, but besides that, I do love ginger. I don't really like turmeric, honestly. I don't know. It has a funky taste. And like I said, I just put it in my water, usually that with lime. And, uh, and then that's good. My husband gets a lot of free apples from work. We get a lot of free stuff. He works for this, um, like this delivery place. And I don't even understand this, but they have this warehouse. Like he goes and he fills up, uh, people's like, he goes to like big businesses, businesses. <laughs> and, uh, he does like these refills and stuff. So he like takes older product down and puts in new stuff if they're wanting that. And so they have this huge warehouse. And by the way, I put those just directly to my smoothie. I don't, I don't juice those. Um, so he, he goes into these businesses and kind of like swaps out their, their food. They're like big. Anyways, I don't even, I don't really know. All I know is that he does these deliveries for these big businesses all throughout Seattle. And so they have this warehouse that you can go in and that they're, they basically let people take, like let the employees take because they can't, for whatever reason, they can't sell them or resell them or whatever it is, or they're changing out, like I said, they're changing out product. So he gets all this free stuff from work. It is so freaking crazy to me. He, he was, especially Pop, ah! Boundary, especially uh, like soda, which I never used to give my kids because, especially my youngest, because if he has soda past a certain time, he goes crazy. So I'm like, no, but yeah, so he got all this soda. We were like getting it for free during the summer. Then of course, you know, my little one is like, <laughs> right? Free soda. He was like all about that. But then he started getting all nutso and radishes. I think I already showed you. And then some kale I put directly again into my smoothie. Um, yeah, so he went all like wonky, you guys. And then I was like, stop bringing those home. So he gets like, <coughs> he gets like soda. Um, we get like crackers, chips. Sometimes he brings home a huge case of chips that haven't even been opened, like the box. He bring just recently, he's been bringing um, like trail mix home. Total sealed box that you would buy for a restaurant or something. And uh, it's like 20, how many, how many pounds is it? I want to say about 15, maybe about 15 pounds. And it, and it's like almonds, walnuts, raisins, like sunflower seeds, like the best kind of trail mix ever. And I Googled it to see how much like they go for. And they're like $300. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's like this big ass, huge bag of trail mix. It's insane which I love. I love trail mix. Everybody does really around here, but there's so much of it. So I just bag it up and bring it to the barn or bring it to my parents or whatever. Um, then there's like coconut water. He's brought in home cases of yogurt, uh, bananas, apples, oranges, uh, protein bars. God, he's brought, he's brought home. Uh, let's see. There's like a combination of a whole bunch of different things, but it, oh, chocolate bars too, but we limit. I'm like, okay, you need to, you need to just not bring those anymore. Those like, um, granola bars, coffee. Oh my gosh, you guys, the coffee that he gets is insane. All, all of these, uh, what are they? Keurig things, which are expensive. He brings cases of them home. Dunkin' Donuts, these are vanilla chai latte, like, um, he gets Starbucks, he gets huge brand new bags of Starbucks coffee, um, let's see, so, and then he gets, uh, these other bags of coffee, like, lots of coffee, one time he got a case of honey, like, the little bear honeys, like, it, it's so, I'm like, what, 
why do we have oh my gosh I, it confuses me and also makes me feel bad because i'm like there are people out there that are like starving and they have this warehouse just full of stuff so we do a lot of donating too as well but anyways yeah so there's my big friggin explanation for that <laughs> but it, i don't think i've ever told you guys but yeah it's it's crazy i was just like how is this possible right a lot of stuff from like whole foods like a lot of stuff stuff like that where they can they can't keep or they can only keep for like a certain amount of time um we've also gotten like huge flats of skittles and like all that kind of stuff i give away like i'll, I'll keep a little bit of it but usually i'll i'll start giving that that stuff away because we don't need freaking a flat 20 pounds of skittles in our household but it just blows my mind that that happens i'm like what so yeah when he first started there we're like whoa like holy it was like it was like the mother load you guys <laughs> the mother load of all kinds of stuff and we're just like wow this is amazing and then i used to put it on my counter and look at it i'm like oh it's so beautiful you know when people do couponing and they're like oh this is amazing look at all my stuff i'm like that but then it got to the point where like all my kids would eat is candy and i'm like no this needs to quit but a lot of it is like healthy stuff as well so a lot of stuff that i would normally not buy that i gotta try without spending the money big cookies um gosh and those ones were from whole foods uh fruit snacks um iced tea every kind of drink you could imagine let's see what else um lots of coffee i have a lot of coffee right now and i love coconut i use i drink coconut water every day i love it but um yeah so it's crazy but anyway so here is my fruit and veggies that i'm going to juice up right now yes i am i'll show you what it kind of looks like when I, when I juice one thing, a few things. And it's a lot that's over here. So what I do is I, I like to, to start it. Generally, I do my ginger first. And then um, I have a bigger jar, bigger jar, container, mm, one of those two. And then I, I'll put, like, I'll juice it and put it in here, juice it, put it in here, and then I will add water as well. And then if I have a lot, like this isn't one day, this is like a week or something. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually put it in ice cube trays and freeze it. Then, and then I don't have to like run to town all the time because I'm far from town, far, probably 30 minutes to that veggie stand. But, um, and then uh, yeah, I'll put it in the ice cube tray. And then, um, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and here, I'll show you what it looks like. It's gonna be loud! It's gonna be loud! there's all the the skins or whatever yeah and then there's the juice so I'm gonna continue doing this and I hope you guys like my hangout in the kitchen it definitely made my job a whole lot funner this morning actually and um thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye